story. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Micah. The three women filed the lawsuit this morning. They say that the hotel refuses to give them their jobs back despite decades of service and a law that requires them to do so. Since being fired last year, my life is like a nightmare that I haven't able to wake up from. Maria Ruiz was fired last fall in the midst of the pandemic. She worked at Swiss Hotel for nearly 25 years. I started out as a housekeeper, then I became a banquet server. I give my all to the hotel. I sacrifice time with my three children to be a good worker. Ruiz is eager to return to work, but says the hotel won't hire her. But I have been passed over. Even though the hotel knows I want to come back to work, I try to get the hotel, follow the law, but they won't. The law Ruiz is referencing is the hotel worker return to work ordinance. The city passed it back in June. The ordinance requires Chicago hotels to bring back employees who were fired because of the pandemic before hiring new ones. I think about all the years of loyalty I gave to the company, all sacrifice, all means time with my children. I don't deserve being treated this way. The three former employees filed a lawsuit and delivered it to Swiss Hotel. Their attorney says Swiss Hotel passed over the women who helped pass the law in the first place. Our community anticipated this problem last spring. We lobbied the city council and the mayor and worked with responsible hotel chains to pass the right to return to work act. The act requires hotels to hire their workers based upon their length of service with the hotel before the pandemic. Now these former employees are scrambling for new jobs when they just want their old ones back. I'm 51 years old. As much as I try, I haven't been able to find another regular job. I have been so scared about what will happen to me and my family. I reached out to Swiss Hotel and its parent company, Accor Hotels, but have not heard back. Live in the Loop, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News. Thank you. Well, head of WGN investigates.